Good morning, St. Pius. Happy Thursday. I'm Philip St. John. And I'm Nam Dion Nike. And you're watching The, the X Factor. Factor. Please stand for prayer and pledge. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Glory be unto the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, a world without end, Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right. Today we are rocking the Thursday block schedule. Today's sin of the day is St. Peter Christologist. His nickname was Peter of the Golden Wor Words. He was a young man who became Bishop of Ravenna, the capital of the empire in the West. In addition to his zeal in the exercise of his office, Peter Christologist was distinguished by a fierce loyalty to the church, not only in its teaching, but in its authority as well. Man of many words. Man of long names. One word. Consecration. Two words, consecration, consecration. Three words, consecration, consecration. Marian consecration. I'm talking about the third one. Hey, you know, um, starting today, November 5th, for the next 33 days through December 8th, we're doing Marian consecration. And most of you guys probably don't know what that is. I didn't really either until I did a little bit of some, some research. But anyways... The definition of consecration is to formally devote in a religious manner. But what's that got to do with Mary? Yeah, you know what it is. Marian consecration is the act of entrusting your body, soul, possessions, works, and entire life to the protection, guidance, and intercession of Our Lady. I don't really know why you wouldn't do that. She probably is a pretty good mom, and she makes, like, cookies for you and your friends and gets you, like, Capri Sun and, like, lets you stay up past bedtime on the weekends. And to do this, all it really takes is five to ten minutes of reading and prayer. And you can do it by yourself or you can do it with some brodies. And, you know, if you don't really know too much about it, go see our dudes at Campus Ministry, bro. Talk to them about it. Just just go do some Marian consecration, you ding-dong. Yeah. Today's lunch, deli wrap. We love the deli wrap. We love the deli wrap. Tortilla, lettuce, more lettuce possibly some cheese, and all a little bit of meat. All the munchies. Today's national days are National Donut Day, which should be high. You know, these Krispy Kreme should come today, but, you know. Yeah. COVID. And also, it's uh, National Men Make Dinner Day. So, if you're a loving son or father. Father. Go make uh, some dinner for your wives. And the website specifically says you cannot barbecue. No barbecue. No it has to, you have to saute. You gotta saute. Go cook us some chicken. You gotta saute. You gotta fillet. You gotta learn to pan grill. You gotta learn to bake. You gotta learn to do all that. Yeah. All so, of today. If you're a loving son, husband, or boyfriend, go get that done. Do you ever make dinner? I always make dinner. I be whipping in the kitchen. Keep it clean. <laughs> yes, sir. Sadly, that is all the announcements that we have for you today, but that's all right because we're going to see you tomorrow. Yes, we will. This has been Philip St. John. And I'm Daniel Nike. Making dinner for today. IRS can't catch me red-handed. Tax evasion, 14 years strong. Penitentiary chances. 